at you for episode number 22 of the Planting Pirates. Yep. This is where we go around and show you where we planted all the plants we got in our Plant Pirates episode number 22. I mean, you can check that out. It's a series we do where we go around our community every week looking for free plants. So if you, if you check uh, that episode out, you'll see where we got all the plants we're about to show you. And guys, we're um, totally fried here. Um, the kids had a surf competition today. And if you're not familiar with how those work, they're like an all day event. Um, and we were on the beach from about 7.30 to four today and we're just totally fried. Um, but uh, the kids had fun. I was actually in the contest too. I came in last place. But that's all right. I still had fun. So it's your first contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I said I didn't. I, I made it to the semifinals. Yeah. But I came in last place in the semifinals. So, anyways. You got third. In yeah, the first yeah. Kids did better than I did. So, yeah. anyways, uh, we're fun. yeah, we're totally fried here. But uh, we want to bring you guys this uh, this episode. So here yeah, we go. So, so you got these planted all the other yeah, day while yeah. I was finishing up school with the boys. So. Yeah. So first off, I see right here is this one right here. And, and guys, you'll have to excuse us. We've been getting wind nonstop for two days now, and there's just stuff down all over yeah, the place. Yeah, some but, actually we had a problem back up yeah, because but, they uh, fell over. Here's this beauty right here. We planted it in this little in this little island. It's kind of like right when you pull into our our uh, driveway area here. We're trying to make this pretty and we'll show you we planted some more stuff in this one over here, but um we got this one in the ground here. This this uh what is some kind of false agave or something? It must be. Yeah. And then we also got this beautiful specimen right here, this huge, uh, yucca. this Bandit. yucca, yeah, Bandit. let me get, yucca. the sun's not right, let me get it from this, this angle. Um, it's just a beautiful specimen, it was a full plant with like roots and everything, um, and uh, I mean just what a beautiful specimen, I can't say it enough. It has a little bit of, I don't know, some powdery mildew or something on it, but um, I'll bet you that's just because it was, wasn't planted in the proper place in the last house that it came from probably didn't get enough sun or maybe it had the sprinklers you know shooting thinking. on it too much it um, so um, I'm not really worried about that stuff spreading um, to these plants these heliconias the lobster claws are super tough um, it's already mostly falling yeah out. and it's starting to go down so um, anyways I'm real stoked about that one we have other yuccas but that was just such a beautiful specimen that um, and then hold on we got a couple things over here these we didn't plant yet. These are going oh, yeah. in a pot. I need to get a planter. These are the mothers of going. mothers of mother. This is mother of millions. Of millions. Yeah. Um, and they call it this. See if you can find one. Well, no, they're, this isn't the time where they have the Here. little babies. Well, these have oh, a yeah. little. So you can see on the on the tips of these things are just these teeny little things, and they'll. Oh, there's some more right there. Yeah, when they get bigger, you can just pop them off and drop them, and like literally, you get a new plant out of it. That's yeah. why it's called. Mother of millions. And that's why I'm putting it in yeah, a pot. I'm putting it in a pot. And so. it's gonna sit on some concrete. Yeah. And then we got this kick butt new um vermilion. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why, guys. I watched I rewatched the Plant Pirates episode and I, I said I think this might be some kind of croton. And I think I just was I just misspoke. I would not have thought this is a croton. I don't know. I would have thought that it would be maybe a cordyline or I, a dracaena. I kind of thought it was a bromeliad because it looks like, you know, like a pineapple plant almost. But um, I didn't yeah. think it. I, the the I mean, bromeliad. So it does cool. look like a pineapple, though. Yeah. You're right. It does look like a and pineapple. Like these, these, the, the foliage on it's just so cool. And we actually got two of those, I think. So we'll show you guys where we planted the other one. I think I planted it over here. I don't think I put anything else over here. I might have popped in one or two of these. I might have popped this one in. Yeah, I think I did to kind of um, bulk, bulk up this planting here, but it's fallen over. Like, oh, look at that. It's even got a little flower on it. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah. They have um, pretty flowers. Like Annalisa just said, uh, we've had to go around and reprop up some of the stuff that we just planted because we've gotten so much wind. The and wind rain. We got a bunch and of rain. And rain and sometimes, yeah. you know, our soil is so sandy and soft. Yeah. Sometimes when we get a dump of rain, if we just freshly plant something, it all falls over. Yeah, really, these um, these tea plants, Thai plants, however you want to say it, you can just stick them right in the ground from cuttings. You don't need roots or anything, but um, it probably would help to stake them with like a little piece of bamboo or something. Oh, absolutely. So, we just get so many of it yeah. that we just have to go around and probably. Yeah, honestly, them. guys, yeah, I, I kind of just, it's kind of survival of the fittest here. We get so many tea plants that I just put them in the ground, and if they live they live and they almost always do even yeah. the ones that die they'll die and we'll and we'll I'll think just cut them yeah we'll think it's dead and then boom it starts out shooting out, out more or stuff get little babies from the They're, from the root system oh here's the oh, orchid, this orchid yeah i think um, i which we i think we need to move to a yeah, sunnier spot i think you're right um, um 
And I just I might put that in a pot. Yeah. Um, because when I looked online at all the different pictures, a lot of them were in pots, and I think that'd be really yeah. pretty by the pool. And you can see here, here's this invasive vine. I forget what it was uh, called. A caladium. Uh, not a caladium. No? It's not a caladium. Uh, it's, uh, I forgot the name of it, but I mean, look, guys, it's like this whole area used to be covered in it, and we, we got rid of a lot of it, but it just keeps coming back with a vengeance. We don't have, you don't have to weed right now, so we'll, we'll do it later. But, uh, I mean, you can see it was growing up all these trees. I actually got it off most of these cabbage palms, and I was convinced that by taking it out from the bottom, it would kill the whole plant because I've had luck with that in the past, but I mean, yeah, they're still living up they there. look terrible, but they're still alive. I mean, they've been, I did that over a month ago and they're still alive. I so. think they're so old that there's um, soil has accumulated. Oh, in like in trees. the uh -huh. bark of these cabbage palms. These, you can see these cabbage palms are old, 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 and some of them are. And, um, and then we kind of were like, why did we take that down yeah. anyways? Because it was like a big bushy, it yeah. actually did add a lot. Yeah, guys, so yeah, you can see we planted this hedge here for privacy because um, this lot has been cleared and they're gonna be, the, the new owners are getting ready to build their own house or their new house. But um, you know, I, I took all this, this vine out, but I mean, it really was giving us a lot of privacy. So, you know, I don't know though, sweetie. I mean, it's so invasive. I still think we should probably get I rid agree. of it and switch to the giant um, pothos vine I instead. Agree. Cause it's just so, it's just, it just runs everywhere. It's real bad guys. But uh, all right, well, let's go show them let's over here. Let's show that money plant, that beauty. The money plant with the money oh i know what she's talking about yeah i don't know even know how we got this home where'd you have it in the in the i put it by my feet by your feet mm -hmm. so yeah guys i mean look it's at this right here i mean that's like just a it's just beautiful isn't it i can't believe we got that for free it have roots and everything and look how big it is i mean i don't it's hard to tell from stand next to it i mean it's huge it's like yeah, it's oh. really big yeah it's uh I need to maybe add I a little I think it's more okay. Dirt. I don't know. I would just leave it just like that. Yeah. I put a lot of uh, cow manure and stuff around it. So. I didn't trim it. I just straightened it out yeah, after you planted so it. But pretty. we, you know, and, it did get a little bit of damage laying on its side. Yeah. So. And we actually got, if you check out the um, Plant Pirates episode, we actually got uh, two or three little pups off of this. And um, they were, honestly, guys, don't remember where I planted them now. But uh, we, I did plant two or three more pups that came oh, off weird. of that somewhere. Oh, here's the other vermilion. Yep, here's the other vermilion right here. So cool. I really, really like this one. I just love vermilions. Um, I remember, you know, probably not even more than a year ago, Annalise was like, oh, get me this vermilion. Isn't it? And like, I just, I don't know. I just didn't, I guess I didn't understand or see the beauty in vermilions like I do Honestly, now. Honestly, I, I really feel like them. Like vermilions aren't really really beautiful unless they're like grouped with other bromeliad i think they're the prettiest when it's like boom boom boom, boom i've just and, recently know, fallen in love with them this. yeah i mean i she's always liked them i i never i used to not understand why but now i do i get it i think they look really. like little fireworks mm -hmm. yeah they're like, so cool yeah I really and then like they them. all have different kinds of flowers and stuff uh -huh. and then guys they're prolific as can be i mean you can you mean for one you can hardly kill them I mean, yeah. we could just rip this out of the ground, go put it somewhere else, and it wouldn't matter. And then they shoot off so much new growth and new little pups and stuff. It's just like you only need one yeah. and some time, and, and you'll end up with now, a bunch of them. Now, during mosquito season, you got to make sure you water them every day so that you're replacing that little bowl of water in the middle. Because well, they will, having lots of bromeliads, I think, probably could cause a problem with mosquitoes. But as long as you refresh the water in the middle of them, you won't get the larva Yeah, that's, in there. Or, I guess, if you plant them in a sunny enough area where the mosquito larva just bakes yeah, yeah. but you know the, I, I'm not sure this one is is slightly different but most bromeliads from what I understand and just from our observation like to have some water down in them and oh, and, definitely. and we've definitely heard that um, guys that uh, it can be a place for mosquitoes to breed so just you know it's just something to think about but we really like them we especially really like them in our pool area because they don't shed a lot of stuff mm -hmm. um, and, and, they won't get the and they won't get the mosquitoes because we have there. the mosquito we have a you know a screen Our enclosure screen. around the yeah, pool but room. so then so this whole area real quick um before yesterday was just monkey grass um and then so i came in here and ripped out a bunch of the monkey grass um and we planted this beautiful specimen here and then we flagged it with that bromeliad and with this um new uh, uh, uh aloe. aloe that we got this is a new kind that we don't have yeah as far as i know it's beautiful um, and then you put the um, and then yes, yeah, so these are new. Yeah, these are new cuttings. I've already had to prop them back up like 15 times because the wind keeps blowing them mm -hmm. over, and they're real top heavy. These are beautiful cuttings. Um, I really need to get out here and stake them. 
Um, yeah. I, I need to do that. But um, and then the Heliconia we actually did yeah, so, buy. But <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, so I'm not going to pretend like I got this one for free. I bought this plant. It was uh, 11.95 at Home Depot, yes. and I had to have it. It uh, was. It was very pretty. I just had, had flowers to have it. on yeah. it. And then back here, you added the what we're hoping to be uh, yeah, so, lobster claw. Yeah. So we think this is a giant Heliconia or giant. This is this is lobster claw, Heliconia or lobster claw, and we think this is a giant version of it. And no, I've this is not lobster claw. This is Heliconia. The lobster claw is the largest heliconia, I, I believe, and it's the ones that have oh, okay. the the um, the flower. Ha I thought has these like were called root. lobster claw too. All right, guys, come on, somebody. We now we have a. I, I don't we have think a so. Guys, we, there's a, a marital dispute going on here. Uh, we need someone to post the comment down below and prove me right, because uh, she's she's wrong, guys. She's wrong. No, I, honestly, I don't know. I have no clue. But anyways, yeah, that we got this one yesterday and just like um most ginger type plants um we've had uh almost 100 percent luck just sticking oh, cuttings in the ground definitely. don't need roots show this spiral yeah, ginger this was just a stick we put in the ground and it's coming back great saw it the other day right there oh yeah the spiral ginger yeah nice. and that was just a stick no roots at all so they take a little bit of time and they look dead for a while um but don't yeah. give up on it yeah see this i know it's a lot of people alive. a lot of people wouldn't want this in their garden but um you know we really want the variety so as soon as this shoots off some new growth we'll just cut this snip, off. snip this ugly stuff off and you know deal with it so oh it's worth right, it so i think we've got so many different kinds of ginger, ginger this ginger, way yeah um all right so let's see we have we had this grouping right here that we did Oh, in the back I did uh, some what? stuff, and you did some more. You did more of this by the gate in the back by the um, bromeliads, going to the bromeliads. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's right. I think that's everything up here, though. I did. I know I did some stuff over here in the side yard, so we'll go look at it. I put the. Um, button ginger over here and I think I put a couple more uh, tea plants let's see we have a real uh, ugly grouping of plants over here that all still need to take off right here so I bulked it up with some new um, tea plants here oh, yeah, that looks good. That um, right, yeah. this was just kind of a barren it was just barren when we bought the house there was no plants here it's a little far um, under it's a little yeah, close to the house it is but these plants seem out. to be thriving so yeah they, they seem happy um, for sure and then i put the spiral ginger the no the, the no 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 the button ginger oh the button ginger. um right oh, here ginger. yeah and, and again guys i know this looks terrible um but it will it will put off new growth down here it will shoot out new uh, uh you know a new plant i know it will we've had almost 100 percent luck with with ginger with just putting cuttings right in the ground mm -hmm. um so you know as soon as this uh shoots off a new plant we'll just hack all this stuff away yeah. and, you know and think of all the little yellow things that we could have eaten yeah so these one. yeah these cones right here shoot out little flowers and you can eat them and they're so good they're they kind of like lemon drops they, they are taste like the candy lemon drops the they old, do if, if the you sprinkled a little sugar candy. on them they would taste like that like yeah. they're they're I mean, not sugary but i mean without the sugar they have like that lemon drop flavor they're, they're really good and i think we have this one somewhere else we do we have it um, I, I just we've never gotten it with big we might have one that doesn't get as big of cones as this one. Gotcha. Because I think, I don't know. This one's pretty prolific. I mean, where we see this planted, uh, it can take over if you're not careful. We have, uh, in fact, I think a lot of ginger takes over if you're not careful. Well, the, obviously, if you can just stick a stick in the ground. Yeah. Um, the, the one ginger I'm pretty sure won't take over, and it's one of our favorites, uh, is this beautiful uh, variegated Hawaiian ginger that we have. I know I have one planted over here somewhere. Yeah. There it is, right there. It didn't die anywhere. Yeah, Every this stuff is. Piece we planted. Yeah, and it's just and so no, pretty. No, we did get roots off some of these. Did we? Mm -hmm. But anyways, we've plant. We we found this um, only once, maybe twice, um, and it's from the same yard. Yeah, um, I think it's a. It's a Hawaiian shampoo ginger. Yeah, so I mean, I don't want to call it a rare plant, but I will say, guys, we do a lot of this, and we've 
only found it once or twice so and it was in the same yard so i mean i i think it is somewhat rare for our area i think a so. lot of people around here do um try to collect, you know i think i think collecting hawaiian plants special hawaiian varieties of plants is uh we gotta watch where we're walking back here guys this is where the dogs do their business all right and i think we're coming to the end here i think no let's get keep going all the way around she, show me i don't know she's we got the mermaid tail and the succulent. Those are the only two things I planted, and they're over here. Okay. Did you oh, and some tea plants. Right yeah, they're probably have fallen over. Yeah, they're. Uh, but this was we got two different kinds of tea plants this week, so you got. Yeah, this was the other kind right the, here. You got the green with the the fuchsia center. You can see, guys. I'll have to prop these up. I'm not. And like I said, we've been getting a lot of wind. The wind's actually been great. It's it's. I think off, the rain was the main thing. The. Yeah made it fall the wind uh we have we've had real strong offshore winds this week which is great for surfing but um you know that means that you know usually we're on we're not on usually on our island the windward side of the island is the ocean but uh when we get strong winds off this river i mean man it just rips the river so, up oh yeah look at that succulent i planted beautiful i thought it belonged there yeah and that that won't get in my way i was gonna put it in a pot there. but then i just I liked that purple over here. I thought it'd be pretty. This is kind of where vermilion. this is kind of like where we dump vermilions when we don't know what to do with them, and then we, you know, when well, we, we recently yeah, I guess got we got rid of all the you know old growth. You can see all and these different. Replaced it with the new growth, so there's really not a lot of old growth in here anymore. Yeah, all these different vermilions. We got all these on Plant Pirates, guys. If and then you look check at out this, our other uh, Plant Pirates episodes. This one's doing episodes. good. Yeah. No, this I'm was a totally different kind of tea plant. No. This one looks like the ginger. I wouldn't that say it's doing about. good, but it's still alive. It's, a, it's, I'd say it's doing good. I mean, doing, there's a new leaf. I mean, it's, it's, it's been in the ground for two months. It's yeah, not it's dying. Not dead. Um, it's not going to die. Yeah. If it's still alive. And what else you got? See, maybe we should put that, that ground ginger around here somewhere. Yeah. It's a little sunnier over here, I think. Yeah. For it. Um, and then in, uh, this is just a succulent pot that my mother in law gave me. And there was a little space in it, so I thought that little tiny mermaid tail, I could pop in, keep an eye on it, and kind of foster it until it gets a little bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you look these up online, look up mermaid tail succulent. Uh, my mom tipped us off to what this was, and they're wild. I've never seen one before. So. Yeah. Um, it, it'll grow like a, it, I mean, if I understand right, it'll grow like a stalk and then have like a mermaid tail at the end of mm -hmm. it. It's really... And this time of year, the succulents seem super happy in the full sun underneath <clears throat> the screen. Yeah. But I think the, in the summer, it's a little too much for them. But I think now is the time of year where you can have, you know, your pot of plants. You can bring them out. Yeah, this screen is, uh, you know, it's, we really like growing edible stuff and a lot of most edible stuff needs pollinators so we can't really grow a lot of stuff that needs pollinating under here but this screen it doesn't look like it does much to block the sun but it, it really does you don't get sunburnt when you're under here swimming in the pool and um it seems like the plants just really thrive in here um from just this little bit of shade that the screen provides um well i don't want to this is a bad example that's a pretty ugly uh <laughs> we need to cut that out see here's a good example though guys see so we got this, a free plant. This is our old one. Free plant on the side of the road, and you can see it doesn't look too pretty here. But look at this. There's a new and one look at this right one. there. Yeah. There's a here. Here's a new one right here. Here's some more new ones popping up right here. So like really, once those little ones start taking off, we'll just hack the old stuff off. Yeah. Really, what we do is we pull them completely out, and then we have to cut the main, the big one off. Um, yeah. And then I like to prop them all straight up because I think they look the best when they're sticking yeah. straight. I think they look kind of like a when kaleidoscope. You I'm embarrassed showing this. We need to weed this. Uh, I weed know. This garden. I know. We have. I want to take this. this uh, there's some flowers. I want to take this uh, this uh, song of India out. Oh, there is some flowers. And here's another good example, guys. Look at this tea plant right here. Look at this one. Totally died, but look at the base of it. Look at all of the new growth. So the one that we got for free off the street died, but I mean, it's gonna be a bush next mm -hmm. year. I mean, it, they're, they're just tough as can be. And yeah, look at the flowers on that. Yeah, it's beautiful, nice beautiful, beautiful. All right, y'all, I, uh, I think that was everything. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about anything that we planted here, uh, 
We'd appreciate if you post it below. Um, also remember, uh, we have a little feud going on now about the Heliconia and the Lobster Claw. So if someone could please um, tell my wife that I'm right and she's wrong, oh, that'd be great. That'd up, be great. Yeah. No, yeah, I know. I'm just joking. Anyways, guys, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, uh, post down below. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.